Up next, we have Oleg. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Oleg Sinetson. I run a cybersecurity startup, Dynamite Analytics, out of Atlanta, Georgia. And the topic uh, and the subject of today's talk is Dynamite NSM, our open source network security monitor. We are we're essentially a data analytics company, have been around for about four years, have been working with Zeek for the last year and a half, and we ended up solving the same problem as a lot of people here in this room. We had to install and run Zeek. So <laughs> we ended up creating our own reference architecture uh, of a Zeek implementation, and now we've uh, published it on GitHub as Dynamite NSM. Uh, it's optimized for a very efficient installation. Uh, we have a fully automated command line utility implemented in Python that has a lots of bells and whistles and allows you to essentially implement it on multiple Linux distributions, have it, help, have it pull the source code and compile it and go from there. The architecture is comprised of the two key components. Um, the uh, agent has the usual suspects, Zeek, Suricata, PFRing for uh, optimization, and uh, FileBeat and, um, and, and some Snort updates with Oink Master. Um, the monitor is a little different. This is where we went rogue. This is uh, something we've done differently from everyone else. We're using the ELK stack and it's completely, it's nicely set up, but uh, we've integrated it, with, integrated it with ElastiFlow. ElastiFlow gives you the capability to ingest flow data of different kinds. Uh, could be NetFlow, SFlow, IPFix, you name it. And we normalize it around, uh, with Zeek around con.log and you can essentially run um, NetFlows as data inputs alongside Zeek. It could be hybrid mode or you could run one or the other. The, uh, the big idea here is that you have really two camps in operations, right? You have NetOps who like flows, who have done flows for years, and they don't like deploying extra appliances. So for them, it's, it's a useful tool, but at the same time, you get them hooked on Zeek. The moment you plug in Zeek, they see a lot of richer, uh, you know, much more rich data sets, and obviously it lends, in, lends itself nicely within the cybersecurity domain. We have a ton of built-in dashboards that are very, very nice, lots of connection-related information, Suricata alerting and so forth. But ultimately, we are about data analytics, really. Like, oh, this whole project really was something that we had to do just to get going with Zeek and do the things we needed to do on the analytics side. And everything we're doing from now on is really a lot more focused about analytics. So as a, as a new kid on the block in this space, I, this is my first time at the Zeek Week, um, I can tell you that we've been surveying the whole landscape of what's available out there for threat hunting and uh, just the TTP coverage in general, and it's been all over the place. So really, this is an opportunity for me to give a shout to everyone else here. We need to do better, we need to be more transparent. Uh, we're looking, we're seeing a lot of vendor implementations that are very obscure. It's really hard to tell what, what in the world's going on behind the scenes, and most importantly, whether it's valid or not. Um, so we love MITRE ATT&CK. We, we believe that w w whatever Corelight is doing with MITRE ATT&CK is, is amazing, and I think we need to um, really come as a community around this and identify not just the coverage in general, but go a lot deeper and go to the procedure level and identify the actual implementations that people could share and reuse and build upon. Um, we up, in terms of analytics, we operate at upstream, not at the scripting level, but sort of within this Python framework that we have that allows us to do the traditional threat hunting as well as uh, more sophisticated machine learning. Um, so that's, that's about it for today. Um, I would just say I think the, the best value that's going to come out from a lot of these products is not really how we're going to run Zeek, except maybe Correlate, but what we're going to do with the data. So um, I think um, as a community, it's a great opportunity for all of us to um, find ways to make it more transparent, to create more coverage for sure, and promote Zeek as a way of you know, being the data input that provides the ground truth for network analytics. Thank you so much.